This show demonstrates the artistry and acrobatic talent that Cirque du Soleil is known for. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we'll be learning more about Dralion from the performers themselves. I'm a character of, uh, representing time, and uh, every time I show up, I uh, perform in the in the wheel called the crossed wheel. The crossed wheel is represent the infinity a little bit. So every time I show up, I don't direct anything, but time it'll come and go, and, and it's just there and it's present. Let's talk about the cross wheel in uh, in terms of you know the other wheels that are possible, like the German wheel, for example. The cross wheel, first of all, is an apparatus I've created uh, like uh, six years ago. I guess for those who knows the sear wheel, which is just one ring, well, mine one ring plus the other wing, which is like a bit like the earth and everything. So I would say, you know, in simple words, it's like a three-dimensional three version of the sear wheel. It offers a lot of uh, uh, nice images, like uh, uh, the earth, the atom and everything. So it swirls, I, I, I use the two axles, uh, I use it in many different ways. Uh, so it's uh, it's very rich as an apparatus. Tell us about the day-to-day -day training that you undertake for the show. We do like a, a bit of conditioning on the side, but just, just to maintain and just to complement and stuff. But the shows in itself is, is, is quite demanding. So I have a few trainings sometimes. Let's say we have one show day. Uh, then I'll train in the morning. We try to save ourselves as well for, for to be able to finish the run in good shape. Now tell us a bit about the performance that you do in the show. Adralion is um, about four elements and uh, I'm on the earth. I'm doing African dance. I have to introduce uh, the earth elements. Uh, so I have, I'm there to give uh, some powers uh, and like his mother, I'm giving power to my kids, like uh, elements. And what kind of training did you undergo to get to this point in the show? You know, in 99, I was in my country and I'm a a professional African dancer and so Sigi Soleil went there doing the audition to find African dancer. So they came in the group where I was and um, I did my audition and after some time and they called me. Now tell us about your particular character and act. So my act is a uh, aerial hoop act. Uh, my character is Hibana, which is like a fire flower in Japanese. Just I have a rope and a big ring like this. Then it's suspended from the top and I go like up to 30 feet in the air and I touch the floor and I create some spin and then I swing in it. I cannot be attached. So uh, because I'm spinning in it and I'm going through the hoop, so it would, it would get tangled, so I cannot be attached. And then I touch the floor, so I cannot have a net. When I do it, I feel really free. But at the same time, you can really feel like the danger part because there's nothing else than just myself to hold on the hoop. I want to make it look easy. So uh, of course, like there's some trick you, you go like, whoa, like, and it's nice to have this feeling but all the way through I want to make it look easy and fluid and stuff like that so hopefully people can feel the magic and just feel like you know like they get into the story more than oh my god oh my god like or oh that's painful all oh, it you know I don't want that I want just uh, the magic to go in you know now tell us about the day-to-day -day training for this show just before I started for Cirque du Soleil I was a gymnast and a dancer I got a call from Cirque du Soleil so I went to try to do the aerial hoop just to see how I could do because I've never seen that I've never known I didn't know what it was and how what to do in there I just tried it for three days and then um, they liked what they saw and then they hired me and then I started with Kidam on a day-to-day -day basis then of course like you want to feel like as I said like you're not attached and there's no net under so you want to be really comfortable in the hoop and you want to feel like if anything happens you can get out of the situation. There's lots of training at the beginning to get used to be in the hoop, get into some position that are maybe like bizarre or weird and then try to get out of the position or do different things so that you don't need to touch the floor to do it. So then when you're in the air, you know that you can get out of any position or situation without like a, too much problem you know you want to be really safe and feel like you're having all the control so you're more comfortable and then you can give a better show so it's lots of training on the actual hoop so that you you raise that uh, confident you know